Uh, this is part two of an abridged reading from Jefferson, the President, First Term, 1801 to 1805 by Dumas Malone. Particularly what I'm going through is reading through excerpts related to the process, uh, implementation of the process of converting uh, Louisiana from a despotically ruled territory under Spanish administration to uh, full incorporation and enjoyment of American Republican government and liberties. Upon his arrival in the territory, Governor Claiborne wrote to the president, quote, I could wish that the Constitution to be given to this district may be as Republican as the people can be safely entrusted with, but the principles of a popular government are utterly beyond their comprehension. The representative system is an enigma that at present bewilders them. Long inured in passive obedience, they have to an almost total want of political information, superadded an inveterate habit of heedlessness to the measures of government, and of course are by no means prepared to make any good use of such weight as they may prematurely acquire in the national scale. Not one in fifty of the old inhabitants appear to me to understand the English language. Trials by jury, at first, will only embarrass the administration of justice, though I presume a short experience would be sufficient to convince any reasoning society of the inestimable advantage of that happy system." End quote. Secretary of State James Madison wrote uh, what may be safely assumed to have reflected the position of the administration. Quote, it is pretty certain that the provisions generally contemplated will leave the people of that district for a while without the organization of power dictated by the Republican theory, but it is evident that a sudden transition to a condition so much in contrast with that in which their ideas and habits have been formed would be as unacceptable and as little beneficial to them as it would be difficult for the government of the United States. It may fairly be expected that every blessing of liberty will be extended to them as fast as they may be prepared and disposed to receive it. By an act on March 2nd, 1805, within two years of purchasing Louisiana, the Congress extended to the inhabitants of Orleans Territory all the rights, privileges, and advantages that were secured by the Northwest Ordinance of 1787, and then enjoyed by the people of the neighboring territory of Mississippi. Finally, the admission of the territory as a state was promised whenever it should be ascertained by actual census or enumeration that the number of free inhabitants amounted to 60,000. Following the organization of the Territorial House of Representatives in the fall of Jefferson's second term, it adopted a brief address to him. Too much stress should not be laid on the complimentary expressions in what may be regarded as a ceremonial paper, but in the first moments of their legislative existence, these elected representatives assured the President of their esteem and confidence. They also said this, if any circumstances could enrich the fame of a statesman already conspicuous by a firm and able support of the civil and religious rights of men, it would be your conduct in the acquisition of Louisiana. Jefferson acknowledged this address gratefully in a gracious letter. The sound discretion displayed by the new citizens in their choice of representatives, to which he referred, may have reassured one who had seriously doubted their political capacity, but in any case, he now sounded the note of faith, not fear. He confidently asserted that the day that added to the United States, a country so favored by nature, and to the great American family, a people so worthy of the blessings of freedom and zealous to maintain them, 
would ever be among the most fortunate in the annals of the Republic, and he hoped that it would ever be commemorated as the birthday of a political well-being too rare among men. That's my end of the extract uh, from that chapter of the book. If you uh, enjoyed it, if you want to learn more, I recommend that you go and you get the book, you read the whole chapter. In fact, I recommend um, the whole book or even the whole series as it provides excellent context as to uh, the importance of New Orleans, uh, Louisiana to the United States and um, the context in which decisions were made relative to that. Related to the more general point uh, of these videos, to the uh, transformation, the transition from a despotic regime to republican governance. Uh, feel free to take the example provided by Jefferson in Louisiana and in the comments below contrast that experience with the misadventures of the Bush administration in Iraq and Afghanistan.